Hi everybody, this is BPO trombonist Tim Smith coming at you again with another video. You know, one of the common issues that I see in young players is figuring out how to play legato on the trombone. Oftentimes I hear young players play a slur that sounds like a smear, say between E flat and F. <laughs> And somewhere along the way, young players get the idea that that's a slur. Well, it's actually not. That's a glissando or a smear. In order to get a slur to sound clean, there are two different things that we do on the trombone. The first one is use a very light do 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 or do 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 da da da, some, something with a D syllable or a na 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 syllable, a very soft tongue to articulate those notes so we get nice clear notes, but they're still smooth. It might go something like this. So whenever I'm changing notes, I'm going do, 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 just a very soft tongue. If I don't do that, I get the smear. So that's the first version that we can play legato. The second one is called natural legato. And this is taking advantage of moving between partials on the instrument. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with partials, I like to think of it as a bookshelf. In every shelf on the trombone or on a brass instrument, you have a collection of notes. So um, on our second partial, we have B flat. A. And then on our third shelf, we start with F. So on and so on like that. So whenever we go between those partials without tonguing, that's called a natural slur. Now you notice, I didn't move the slide for those. But you can also play natural slurs by moving in between partials that exist in different positions. For example, F to G. We would call that natural slur, we can also call that natural legato. So by combining our legato tongue, that do do do, and our natural slur when we go in between partial, we can play a true legato on the trombone. For example, an E flat scale. So when I was first learning where I was gonna get a smear and where I was gonna get a nice legato slur, I played a lot of scales and I would do them without tongue. So in this case, I'm gonna do C major. Heard an awful lot of smears in there, didn't you? Yeah. So in that case, I would figure out where all the smears were that's where I had to use that very light legato tongue, doo doo doo. So I encourage you, for all you young trombone players out there, as you're mastering this concept, play a lot of scales. Don't be afraid to smear between notes so you can figure out where you need to use your tongue. So I hope that helps. I hope this was informational and I'll see you next time. Thanks.